doing this product on my own garage floor. This is the Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield. I just chose the light, light gray. It's a two-part mix. It's kind of like a homeowner setup, and I wanted to just try to do it myself on my own garage. This is going to be like a woodwork shop and a mechanic shop. So I'm going to try it out and see what I think of it. I've never used this product before either, so. Um, what it came with in the kit is a part A and a part B. Right here you got a part A and a part B, and you just combine these two. And this kit also came with two bags of chips. I bought one more bag of chips. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this bag of chips here. I don't really like lots of chips because if you drop a nut or a bolt or something on the floor, it's going to you know, probably be hard to find it. So. Okay, in this clip we're explaining the, uh, this was the Rust-Oleum, I bought the product, it's basically, a, it's almost like a Bondo, you mix the two parts together and you fill in the cracks. I didn't show that much of us doing that in the video.
test out the Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield. This is what you put on. It's a high gloss sealer. This is just extra protection um, that goes on the epoxy floor that we already did. This does have a little bit of that uh, clear coat that's on it, but this is just actually another layer that will kind of bond everything together, all these flakes. I'm going to open the box and get started right into it. Looks like in the kit, look, there's a Looks like just a little bag in here where you got to break part A and part B together. You just squeeze this together. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. Just go like this. I just felt the break. Mix this together. I'll probably mix it just for like a minute or two. Where you can see the high gloss here um, what what it was is a high gloss I you see a spot I'm pointing out I'm trying to point out some of the flaws so you can see the high gloss sealer it's very clear so when you try to go over with the gloss it's hard to tell if you missed a spot that was one of the problems I was noticing is it it, it went on really thick also um, it possibly was too cold when I had done this and you can see the grind marks of the grinder so those are the little things you're gonna see uh, this was the first time I did it, so I was kind of learning as I was doing this. Here's the final look of how it came out. I think it came out pretty good, and I did learn a lot about doing this. Spin this around. This is kind of what it looks like here. It was really cold when we poured this. The epoxy and the sealer. It was actually below freezing, so I had to close this garage. And just, I left it cracked open a little bit and blew some heat in here. So I kind of had to throw these sprinkles just underneath the door. And they went a little heavy in this area, which is fine. It doesn't match everything else. And then I did have one spot right here where when I closed the garage door all the way down, it wasn't fully cured and it peeled it up a little bit right here. But uh, overall, my experience from using the product is I think I could do better th th definitely the next time. You can see the grind marks from when I was grinding it. I would probably recommend using the etch. I called Rust-Oleum um, tech support and they said, oh, if you grind it, you don't need to etch it. But uh, I think I should have etched it. It came with the kit. And I did have a problem trying to roll some of the epoxy on. And I'll try to see if I can show you a spot where I was like right in this area. We were trying to roll it on. Actually, it looks really nice in this area. You can see, I don't know if you can see this area. It's real, real thick. Another problem with that clear coat sealer. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it here. You can see the line right here where it's a little thicker. The sealer is really thick. And when you roll it on this floor, it already has the sealer on it. It's really hard to see where you last rolled it. And then, you know, if you rolled over the same spot or if you missed a spot. That was the only problem I had with that. But this is an area where maybe it didn't come through good, where it wasn't bonding. 
and it was kind of peeling when we were putting the epoxy on. Um, as we would roll it out, it would kind of, it would go out with the epoxy and then you came back and it would kind of stick and it'd peel up a little bit. It was like there was either moisture or oil or something that was trapped in there. So that's why I think I should have degreased it um, or etched it. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. I did learn a few things about it doing it here on my own garage. Thanks for watching.